Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys in detail how to repair your controller for your Xbox One series. This applies for an Xbox One S, X, X or S version. As long as all the controls are pretty much the same. Doesn't matter if you have a different edition, a special edition or white or black. If you have a problem with your LB and RB clicks, they're not registering nicely and or you have to press really hard on them for them to and work and this video is for you so what we're gonna do what happens in here after a few hundred clicks or doesn't matter how much you click or just with the humidity or pressure that you put on this one the buttons they will go bad the switches i'm gonna leave in the description where you can purchase these switches they have a different quality so switches they have one for one million clicks one for ten thousand clicks they all depends your um, budget all right, once you have these uh, buttons purchased, then you need to go ahead and open up the controller. First, before we start, you need a screwdriver set, and we're going to be using the iFixit screwdriver set. And the torque number 9, we're going to be using from this set for now. And the other tool that you will be needing, always is good to have a workshop towel. I'll leave the link in the description and you will need a uh, tweezers you will need a uh, soldering you will need a soldering wire uh, or a wig a wick let me see there is the one soldering wick you need a flux i'll leave the links in the description you will need a soldering station i use a t100 is a this is a ts100 electrical it's a really small handy so you can take it out with you anywhere you want it's really nice these are for small work for sometimes it's good but it's not for daily daily use i haven't tried it all day long because i like it i don't want it to waste destroy it using it all day the tape will go black by time that doesn't matter this is just for the use anyway so what you want to do you want to first grab the controller remove the battery cover remove any batteries that you have in there you're going to peel off this side so you're going to put your fingernail right on this side grab it and then pretty much i'm um, bringing this side up with really hard force just like that it feels that it breaks but it's not breaking you just have to pull it up like a can and all this dirt and dust that is in there is just gonna fall off so grab it from here peel it off again you can go grab a toothbrush and clean up once you remove this one you're gonna use a torque number nine you're gonna remove one screw two screws three four screws and there's a hidden screw right on this cover you have to rip this part so go ahead and remove the four screws first at this point i'm gonna go on and turn on my soldering station there we go now let's go ahead and rip up the, the sticker in the middle so pretty much i'm doing a cross right there and then move the plastic over and you're going to be able to access the screw right underneath and just remove the screw the screws are all the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching now you can go ahead and remove the top plate and the buttons are visible they're right over here you see the two of them so before we do anything we need to remove this controller so we're gonna remove this plastic over a little bit from these holes lift it up a little bit with your fingernail just a little bit like that and then push it towards the front so you can remove the triggers now remove the sync button which is comes out really easy now pull out the back cover and down here you might want to tape these motors because they fall down all the time and they are really annoying so grab a little bit of tape any type of tape you have we're just keeping this one in place so tape it down 
But trust me, they get really annoying once you flip over and they keep falling off. All right. Now we don't need to remove anything else. Now, right here, I'm gonna get zoom in a little bit. So let me see if I can lift up maybe. So these pins right here, so these are the supportive pins and this pin and this pin is the, the click pins. So we're gonna desolder these four pins in here and the four pins right over here. So go ahead and add a little bit of flux right over these pins. Now this is our old uh, solder, so we need to mix it with a new solder. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a little bit of solder on the tip of the solder iron, and then bring it over and then mix it with the old pins. So, so you wanna mix it in. Okay, do the second one over here. Once you add an extra solder on those, now what you want to do, let me put this one in this position. You want to add a little bit of flux on one side of the wig. So grab the flux and add a little bit of flux on one end of the southern wig. Now what are we going to do? We're going to clean the tip, just shake it off. We're going to put the wig on top of the pins and we're going to heat up over the wig so the wig will absorb the solder so we're gonna do this for every pin so let me see if I put this one underneath so you guys can without moving it so you guys can see it there we go so pretty much I'm gonna put it beside this one and I'm gonna heat it up There we go. Now you can go ahead and cut the wig a little bit. So you have cleaner wig. Again, apply a little bit of flux. What the flux does, it makes it easy for the solder kit absorbed to the wig. So do the second, do the other pin. So you're gonna do this for every pin until all the pins are clean and loose. So I see a good result right there. I'm holding the southern iron there for about a few seconds. And that's it. Now once we did this, what you need to do is to go ahead, use a tweezer, flip it over and pull out this jack out so this is the old one and once we got the old one out grab the new one and put it right in place and there we go now we're gonna flip it over while i'm holding it with my finger down from the other side pushing it inward i'm just gonna add a little bit of flux on the new pins just a little bit and we're gonna solder it down so grab a little bit of solder and go ahead and solder it clean the tip of the solder iron and You don't have to hold it too much, just a little bit, and that's it. And there we have it. Now to clean it up, we, all you need to do is to grab an alcohol, 
100% iso isopropolic alcohol or isopropolic. Grab a working towel and we're gonna soak it right in there. And we're gonna just damp it on top and just rub it slowly, gently. The flux is not conductive, so it's not gonna harm the board or anything like that. And there we have it. So we are down with one click. So one is installed. So we're gonna go with the second one. Same thing with the second one. We're gonna grab a soldering iron and we're gonna do the same procedure. Mix it. Grab your southern wick and do the same thing that you did on the first one. Once you got the new the other one down, the same thing, pull it from the back. Just work it around. Don't pull it too hard. You have to it has to come in soft. Grab it out, grab the new one in. Place it right there and push it through. Put the new flux on top. And put the soldering. All right. Now we can go ahead and turn off the soldering iron. Uh, same thing here. We're gonna clean it up, soak it in with an alcohol with working towel. Grab the new side. There we go. Once it's soaked in, nicely done. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna grab the clicks right here so it's gonna come from the underneath to top so bring it down the bottom where the jack is bring it over just align it make sure these hooks they go under the tiny hooks in there so they have to go under the slot right there and then bring it over and then snap it in place Pull the triggers back and test it out. Now it's actually clicking nicely. All right, so I have a little bit of flux on the top side, so I'm just gonna clean it up up here. Clean up all this. You can grab a toothbrush and clean up the whole dirt that is in here. And the last thing would be to remove this tape that you put in. I want to remove the tape, grab the bottom cover first, and this is very important. You see these two triggers for the batteries? This one has to be inside the case, so make sure it doesn't go like that. It has to go in, inside the case. Uh, push this trigger back a little bit, a little bit, and then push the case towards the board and let go. Now hold it that way, bring it over, and put it and top cover right on top just like that okay now hold it down put the first screw in the middle okay and the next thing is putting down the four screws two on each side and i'm going to show you guys how to snap back the covers on the each side of this one again if you my video helping you guys out if you have any questions or requests let me know in the comment area and i will definitely answer your questions and take requests and i really appreciate it if you guys click like and subscribe to my channel it really helps and motivates me to make more videos for you guys all right now that we put all the screws simple Grab the cover, align it over, and all you have to do is to just push it down. Make sure you hit those clips. Same thing here, align it on top, then 
snap it in place. The last thing is to put the bottom cover. And you're done. And also, I'm not done. I have to reopen it. Before doing that, put down the sync button. Don't forget to put down the sync button before you install the cover. Now I have to open it up and put the sync button in. And I'm just going to fast forward to the part that I installed the sync button. You guys don't have to watch it, but I'm just going to do it really quick. So grab the sync button, put it right over. Alright, thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.